let's talk a little bit more about covalent bonds. So what I have here, I have a molecular model kit. Now, this is really used for organic chemistry because inside the kit is almost everything in the that we use a lot for organic chemistry that's non-metal. So it's all almost uh, all the non-metals. There's a few metals in here to uh, work some experiments with, but you know these represent the covalent bonds. You know, black is carbon, red is oxygen, and uh, let's talk about covalent bonds using these models. So our first guest. This is a molecule of water. Now water, H2O, we have our two atoms of hydrogen, one atom of oxygen, and it has a single covalent bond for the oxygen to hydrogen bond. So there's a single bond here and a single bond here. And notice that it's really, really close. Hydrogen likes to bond very close to anything that it bonds with, but that is a single covalent bond uh, with hydrogen. Our next contestant, is C2H4. This is methane. I'm not quite sure what it's used for, but we have the single bonds between the carbon and hydrogen here and here, but there's a double bond right here. And this double bond represents there's a total of four electrons being shared between these two carbon atoms. Two electrons here, two electrons here. And the benefit of this this double bond is fairly strong. I'm trying to twist it. It's not twisting very much. Now, if I break up the bond, which you could do via a chemical reaction or fire, now the bond's breaking or bending very, very easily. So single bond, bending very easily, very fragile. Double bond, it's a lot stronger. Our final contestant, this is nitrogen. Nitrogen in its, norm, in its form by itself, you'll just see as two nitrogen atoms, and it actually has a triple bond. And each bond having two electrons, so there's two, four, six. There is six electrons shared between two nitrogen atoms in its normal form. And it's very, I mean, it, it, this one's very strong. It's a little bit harder to move than everything else. So let's show an example of a molecule that has a combination of single and double bonds. So here we have this molecule. This is CH3COOH. We have carbon here, which has a single bond uh, to three hydrogen atoms, one, two, and three. It has a longer covalent bond, single covalent bond between the two carbon atoms, single covalent bond between the carbon and oxygen here. The oxygen has a single covalent bond to the hydrogen. But here, the carbon has a double covalent bond between the carbon and the oxygen. Now, CH3COH is also commonly known as acetic acid or really commonly known as vinegar. So you've seen this one before. Now, now for my favorite trick of chemistry, playing with my model kits. This one, little doggy here. This doggy I call Ethy the dog. Ethy has a single bond between the two carbon atoms, a single bond between the carbon and oxygen. And the oxygen has a single bond to the hydrogen. The carbons have single bonds to the hydrogen. Ethy is also known as ethanol. Ethanol is uh, what is known as the uh, the alcohol that people consume, and it's also the uh, compound that is put into unleaded gasoline a lot uh, to reduce the reliance on fossil fuels. And you know, different thoughts about that one. And I don't know the, if it's really that beneficial or not, but that's what's done. So, here you go, Ethy the dog in a gas station near you. How about that?